war. Disease. Pollution. Humanity can't survive on Earth much longer. That's why I am organizing a shuttle of the world's sexiest people and sending them to Mars. Hello, Ottoans and Ottoans from around the globe. Today, we're going to be playing Surviving Mars, but with a twist. For those of you that don't know, this game is a simulator that allows you to colonize, terraform, and populate Mars. Now, typically, you can send as many applicants as you want from Earth to your colony, but today, we're only going to be sending one rocket. I'm going to try to go from 12 people to 2,000 in under 300 souls. And how am I going to do that, you might ask? Well, one word. Or is it actually four words? Well, four words. M-I-L-F. Mom, I'd like to- Reproduce with. <laughs> oh my god, this video is gonna get demonetized so quick. Now we have to pick a couple settings before we start, the first of which being our game rules. I'm gonna select more applicants because we're only sending one pool of people, so we might as well have the best applicants we can. And I kinda need to make sure they have the sexy trait, but more on that in just a minute. I'm also gonna select overfunded because the sponsor for our mission today is number one MILF hunter himself, Beth Jezos. Guy loves space, definitely doesn't have any evil plans. <laughs> we'll also pick Armageddon just to make it a little bit more difficult. And we'll also take the last arc, meaning we can only send 12 people. Now in terms of our mission sponsor, I'm gonna pick the Church of the New Ark, essentially because their birth rates are doubled. But that doesn't mean we have to stick with that name, no, no, no. Okay, that looks good. Now we are finally ready to land on Mars. I love the default areas, so I'm gonna pick this one, Elysium Beta, and we'll go ahead and start that. So we've landed, our little drones are exiting the vehicle. This is beautiful. The only cargo we packed to start was just some materials. I'm gonna put up a quick concrete extractor, and then we need a self-sufficient dome, so I'll get that going. So our little remote-operated drones can start putting that together and assembling it. The next thing we should be doing in the meantime is grabbing a quick and dirty cargo rocket. We'll get some things on there like moisture evaporators and a couple of materials. So I'll let the boys at Mission Control send us that rocket. Mission Control, this is Commander Bubbles. So in terms of our technology, I've opened it up so you guys can see all of them right off the bat. So a couple in the biotech tree are critically important to our fertility. Specifically, if we look at dome bioscaping, which improves our comfort, same thing right below it, the dome engineering. I also wanna pick up smart homes, which give a lot of comfort. Uh, so the nicer their home is, the more comfortable they are, and the more comfortable they are, the more uh, children they're willing to have, I guess, uh, how you would put it tactfully. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is getting demonetized anyways. The more they do be fucking though. All right, and it's time to land the next rocket with a bunch of resupplies. Now we can start setting up somewhere to collect some water as well as harvest fuel for our rockets to send them back to Earth. All right, and we've completed Chrome Dome number one. Okay, so we're gonna build this with max comfort in mind. So we need a little diner for people to get their food. We need a quick infirmary in case, you know, anyone wants to actually have a baby. Small space bar, you know, uh, just to take the edge off. So we wanna grab a quick smart complex up here. Some other things we want are like a Martian playground, same thing with a nice Martian school, and finally a little farm. So that's a that's a not bad little colony to start off. So it looks like we've refueled this rocket and it's time to send it back to Earth and get them all prepared to send us some passengers. So let's take a look at the passenger rocket. So we are going to filter the colonists we've selected. If you don't know, this game has a special trait called the sexy trait, hence the name of the video. We're going to filter it down so that everyone joining has this trait because it increases the fertility. And we'll name this rocket after our founder. Let's launch that bad boy. All right, and our passengers are ready to land. We've also completed research on the hanging gardens. Now this is a beautiful park complex that increases the comfort of all residents in the dome and we're gonna want that so let's slap that down right in the middle of our dome and get her going in terms of food i think i'm gonna start with one crop of wheat for sure and then uh, we'll grab some potatoes as well Ugh. okay and it looks like we're low on power here uh that's a big rip oh and we've had our first kid oh my days okay we've got this notification for the first time a human's been born on mars 
a truly unique miracle. So we've officially got our first MILF on Mars. Chalk that up under things you love to see. So let's address this power issue quite quickly and then uh, we'll go from there, I guess. So we also have the opportunity to send one of our rockets abroad for an expedition. And on this expedition, we can get an unknown outcome, a breakthrough, which is going to be huge because that's a huge tech boost or some research progress. Let's grab the breakthrough and we'll send these boys off. And we just unlocked a breakthrough, the fusion reactor. So basically we can produce power without workers, which is actually awesome. So we're going to work on that for sure. So we're coming back from the next expedition and we have a full rocket with seven drones. So I think it would be a good opportunity to actually drop these guys somewhere and take advantage of them. I'm looking over here and this looks like a great area. You have a Vista, which increases the comfort. You have a rare materials depot, which we can kind of extract and send back to Earth for some cash. And over here, you have some water so you could run some pipes and, and basically power your civilization. So I'm going to land these guys like probably right around here i would say and our little drones have been doing work and pretty much took out this whole mass that was in the middle here so we can actually get to work on setting up a second little base okay and we've hit another milestone producing food on mars some beautiful spuds were produced i'm a botanist Okay, so it's time to get the second base rolling. I'm thinking a big dome for this one, the barrel dome. So if we place it about here, we'll get the bonus from the Vista and we'll also be in range from this rare minerals deposit. What I'm realizing, I didn't even put a nursery in this dome. Literally one of the most important things and I didn't do it. That's pretty funny. What I think I'm gonna do is delete this art store and put a nursery there instead. <sighs> Oh my god, we put the nursery in and like a few minutes later, we, we're pumping out, bro. Beta Oxygen, Juno Orion, Astra Kepler. Oh my days, these kids are looking good. What? What the fuck? So our sexy colonists here are doing their job and reproducing as much as they possibly can. And it's going really, really well, actually. The hell is this, an ad in the middle of the game? This game's not made by EA. How do I get out of this? To close, like, and subscribe. Well, I guess I have no choice. Okay, so now that that's dealt with, every time I look back, we got two or three more kids, which is pretty sick. And we're almost full now. So we started with 12. We're at 24 of 32 residents in this dome. Okay, and our other dome is going up slowly and surely. So let's populate this with buildings and get some MILFs over here. Okay, so now that this dome is pretty much complete, we have 32 people in one and 30 in another. So let's go over to our first dome. And I think if I just shut off one of these residents, people will gradually flock to the other one. All right, perfect. So the number's slowly going up. They're slowly moving over, which is great. I suspect another personal land. Oh, there you go. And that's eight. Awesome. And this guy has joined and he's off to work. He's a little cold, but that's all right. All right. So we've placed down our fusion reactor. That's going to eliminate the need for all these bloody wind turbines. So we can actually turn off and decommission all of these and now you'll note also that our domes are split pretty even at 18 and 18 a piece. So I'm going to reopen this up in case people want to have more kids and they want to have more people and we can repopulate this dome to full capacity. Oh no, we've had crop failure here. So we may have to order some more from Earth as much as it pains me. But you know what? The first days on Mars are tough, especially when you're only doing it with MILFs. They might not be the best farmers. Astra Kepler, not a great farmer, but uh, you know, she do be sexy. Oh, so many questionable sentences have been said so far tonight. All right, let's get this supply pod landed and get the food down for our people. So our colonies are going pretty good at 24 and 22. I'm thinking down here would be another great place. Having a colony set up in the middle of these two would give a boost to our comfort dramatically. So finally, we've cleared the land around here and it's time to slap down a beautiful dome. And I'm thinking we work on a mega dome, the most badass dome of them all. OK, this is taking forever, but I'm slowly and surely having these guys build this mega dome because we've almost had too much success in breeding. We're over our population in both domes, so we really need to get that going. Oh my god, finally we've completed it. Okay, so let's slap down a couple more smart complexes in here. That looks like a good placement to me. 
Get a nice school going, a nice university. All right, so we got Mega Dome up and running. There's some people in it. And we've hit 100 colonists starting from 12, so that's pretty impressive. I have a feeling, though, our population is about to explode because it goes exponentially, right? So I'm running into this little problem where people are producing more people faster than I can get food out. So I think I'm going to have to build a couple of ranches. Oh no, we're about to get hit by a meteor right here. Oh my days. Okay, let's make sure none of our dudes get hit. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Let's get on fixing this ASAP. Come on. Oh my gosh, this meteor storm's killing me. I gotta research the uh, lasers to shoot them out of the sky. Oh no, is that gonna hit? <sighs> oh, that's a big rip. Okay, we gotta get that fixed. That could have been so much. Oh no! We're just getting pelted. I need to bump up the uh, meteor defense systems like crazy. Okay, so we got out of that meteor storm rather unscathed, I guess you could say. Like we took some casualties, but it wasn't that bad. Like we're repairing slowly and surely. We are rather low on food. We have 13 food to feed. 156 colonists, uh, they'll, they'll be eating potatoes, don't worry. Okay, let's get this other cargo rocket with all these materials we need to set up a new base. Oh no, today our founder, Casey Presley, has passed away due to old age. Rest in peace, good buddy. I'm gonna set up a nice little base over here, strictly for mining resources. That'll be good. Okay, we got the workings of a nice little colony. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start terraforming because I have these outdoor farms that I can make. But if you look, any of the crops I wanna plant are not good enough because Mars is not sufficiently terraformed. So we need to terraform so that we can get more food. And then once we have more food, then we'll see a spike in our population. So if I slap down a few of these GHG factories, we're essentially polluting with greenhouse gases, but it makes the planet warmer. Okay, so I noticed up here there's a ton of water, and that's going to be good for setting up like a station just to pump out lakes and increase our water for souls. So we have our rocket. Let's land it right up in the middle here, and we can start getting to work on that. Oh no, okay, here we go. Another pop-up. The Flat Mars Society. A message is forwarded to your inbox with the most curious title, The Flat Mars Society. Thinking it's a joke, you read through it and find out the colonist by the name of Beta Oxygen, bro, what a beta, is propagating the notion that Mars is indeed flat. <laughs> along with other conspiracy theories, Beta Oxygen's broken no laws thus far, but perhaps something should be done. Uh, I'm gonna hit him with the old eye roll. On the bright side though, look at our population. It is absolutely staggering. They are just pumping out the people. I'm actually just thinking about this now. We only ship 12 people to Mars, meaning this entire population is basically just inbred at this point. Bruh. Leave it to the CK3 player to work out how to inbreed in a different game. Oh my days, the flat Mars people are back. And they've come up with a plan. They're about to bring down the veil of lies that the Martian government is feeding them. Yeah, everyone can see. It's as plain as day. So basically, their plan involves setting up a home-built craft high enough into the stratosphere to prove that <laughs> Mars is not round. Uh, okay. The craft looks incredibly dangerous. You know what? Let them do it. Oh no. The improvised aircraft lifts off with all the Flat Mars Society members on board, rapidly loses speed, and then quite expectedly comes down crashing. I guess whoever designed the vehicle got their physics wrong. So up here, we finally got some semblance of a little base going now, and I can finally start looking to put down some lakes. Perfect. That would be a sick lake. Put a large guy right there. Maybe another large guy up here. Awesome. Okay, so with the warming of the atmosphere on Mars, water is now sustainable in its liquid form on the surface. We've come a long way. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, cool. Now these lakes will start to actually fill up with water. Look at that beautiful green sludge. Oh, I love to see it. So we're up to 383 passengers on Sol 122. I'm going to see if I can get to a thousand before Sol 200 and then try and double that. See how she goes. So this dome is not even finished being built and we are at max colonists. We're actually overpopulated. 
a few moments later. Okay, we really gotta expand our homeless populations at 108 right now. Imagine being homeless on Mars, like that's so rough. Okay, the next place we might want to set up a colony is up here because you can see there's one, two, three rare metal deposits. So we can do these big triangle domes. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I think that's gonna look pretty good to be honest with you. All right, so this is going to be our final base to see how many people we can just cram in here like sardines. And we're gonna keep filling out our research. We'll just do a backfill of whatever we're missing here. And what's this one actually? What's this little baby here? Oh, medical center upgrade increases birth rate in the dome. All right, let's put that one at the top of our list here. Okay, so we found this really deep metal deposit up here too. So I'm going to disband both of those. <laughs> okay, and we hit a thousand colonists and everybody's freaking out. Huge dub here. All right, so we're at Seoul 195 and we're still hovering around a thousand people. So once these domes are relatively well filled out, I expect our population to be jumping massively. So yeah, now it's kind of just a waiting game. All right, so let's just slap down an apartment complex pretty much everywhere we can. Let's grab an apartment. Now, these are not ideal because people aren't uh, so comfortable in them. But I'll tell you what, you can shove a ton of people in them. Now, I suspect we're going to run into issues because I don't know if you can see how laggy this is, but it's crazy laggy. And we're only at 1.4K people. I don't know if my PC will be able to handle this. The thing I love about this is we're slowly terraforming it. You can see that there's uh, polar caps now forming on the top of Mars and some oceans and things here. So that's actually quite cool. So we've solved our housing crisis and there's only six homeless people now, which is good as we slowly and surely build more and more things. Hey, and that's pretty cool. We got a nice tree or two down here. That's actually kind of sick, not gonna lie. So we've hit Seoul 225 and would you look at that? We made it to our goal of 2,000 people. I'm gonna chalk this one up as success. We started with 12 milts and we produced the most inbred Martian colony I've ever made. Are you bored and don't know what to watch next? I've gone ahead and hand selected the video on screen right now as one I think you're going to love. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.